stress me out, okay? Look, I remixed the prince's hair because I know I did the side, you part, whatever. But honestly, I have I have footage of how you put it on. Um, not actually put it on because I deleted that, but I have footage of what it did look like before I wanted to remix it like this. Um, I just couldn't take that deep swoop in my face like... I was going psycho crazy, so um, I just decided to remix it. I posted this picture sometime last week. I had this. It was more in the middle. I kind of moved my part over a little bit, um, but it's the same thing, um, and I added more of the 22-inch um, in the back. So I basically took all the hair off the other wig since I sewed it on. The old cap I used, so you know I'm not lying to you. This is the other one. It was a deep swoop on this side. So I just didn't use all of this yet. I can still take it off, but I didn't really need to. Part up here is actually some hair she sent me before I got my pure waves. Before I got the pure waves, I had natural wave. And I got a bad batch, which is common. Sometimes that does happen. But one of the bundles, actually two of the shorter bundles that she sent me, bleached very well. And it came out amazing. So that's the hair I still kept. But the longer length that I bleached, it may have been my fault. Um, it was just not working. So that's how I got the pure wave. She just replaced it with no problem. And I know she does that for a lot of customers too. If you have an issue with your hair, she's right on it. So great customer service. I love her. She's so nice. I mean, I know I'm doing this for a review, whatever. But like honestly, she's the most professional and caring review owner I have worked with in a long, long time. I have a 22-inch, a 20-inch. 18 and 16 I think but I didn't use all four I probably used about three and like I said I have a mixture of the natural wave up here and the natural wave up here is actually looks like this so I had two different ombres um one ombre came out lighter than the other I left it in longer and I forgot that I was um bleaching it <laughs> so it got really yellow so this is one that looks yellow like this so but it came out perfect it may look a little off right now because I had it just stashed in a bag or whatever so this is one of the natural ways that I have. Like I said, it looks rough, but I just had it stashed. But this is how it really looks once you condition it and everything. The other bundle, I have a little piece left. And this is um, how it came out. So it's like a, this is like a number 30, and then this is like a 27. If you think about weave coloring, it's like the same color. So um, I have this, and then I have this on top. So it's a mixed ombre, actually. And I'm going to show you the back. I just got out of the car, so it's probably a little jacked up in a bit. But it's natural luster. I'll say the luster. There you go. I'll say the luster is really here. And then this is that side right there. It gradually turns into my black. So it's like a black and it gradually turns. Like I said, I did it by accident. I was like, let me put it together and do like a two-tone thing going on. So it's very mixed color. So this is how it looks. Um, I didn't do anything to the back bundle. Like, honestly, I just curled the sides and some of the front. I didn't do anything to this natural pure waves. It has a nice natural body wave to it. So I just let it hang or whatever. Now, I will say, when you first get this hair, it's very raw, meaning, like, super unprocessed. Um, that could be a good thing, so you know your hair is in process. I already washed it. There was no dye coming out of it. No weirdness happening with the hair. I did get a couple of, um strands in it but um made me kind of wonder okay why is it the different color strands and it had like a red string in it then it had um a white string not white but like a gray string i think it's just gray hair or whatever but um other than that it was fine um shedding was like it's very minimal well i sell my weft so i mean i did that myself you guys want to know what i sell my weft with i sell it with stop frame which is by alina alini or something I don't know, but it's from the craft store, Joann's, Mar um, Michael's, or I know some Walmart sell it too, so you can get it from there too. And stop spraying, you just put it on. Like, people ask me to do a video, but honestly, you guys, I don't want to bore anybody with that video because all I'll be doing is basically taking this, taking it out, putting it on a track, let it sit for about three hours, and it looks like this. Literally, that's it. I know people want a video, but honestly, I would bar myself watching my own video of me putting stuff on the track for like 10 minutes. Then layer is going to be blue. Then when it turns to clear like this, you're done. If your track starts sticking together like this, sometimes it may stick. Pull it apart, no problem. You can wash, condition it, everything like that is fine. That's all you have to do. I only have a tad bit of leave out. 
you know, I don't leave a lot out. I just have it here. I bought it a piece there. And then over here, right there. So that's it. I don't leave a lot of my hair out at all. I just combed it over. And that's how I got this to blend. It's like a semi side part, if you want to call it. Um, she actually sent me products to use on my hair, which was phenomenal. Which is the Ar Argan Oil Moroccan. I used this already on my other hair and I love it. But she was right. She said she used to try this on her hair and she didn't like it as much. And I agree. This one's way better. Um, the Macadamia Oil Conditioner. Um, they're by the same company, Organics. This still works really well. I think I like it for my curly hair, but definitely for like Brazilian hair because Brazilian hair, like I said, is very raw. It can be very frustrating to work with because it's really hard getting luster in it and that flow into it because sometimes Brazilian hair can be very stiff because it's like a coarser type of hair. So this works very, very well. I have the shampoo conditioner and also the um, deep conditioner, intense moisture one. Very, very good for the hair. Awesome. So that's what I used again because the first time I washed it, it was like, and then I did it over properly, let it air dry like I was supposed to, and it came out fabulous. The luster looks completely different, everything. So the instruction she told me was phenomenal. Everything worked out really good. Rocking Argan Oil and the um, Macadamia Oil. I think I used this one though when I washed it last night. I used this one when it was damp. Very little bit, and that's all I have in my hair. That's it. And it's just, I love this hair. It's very lightweight. It's not hot. Um, I'm so used to wearing that Filipino hair all the time. And that hair is very hot. It's hot and it's wavy. But this one's lightweight and it's not hot. My hair curls really good. Like I said, I was out for about um, four hours. And I didn't touch the bag. And that's one thing about wavy hair. I haven't found my ideal wavy hair yet. But I honestly think this is it. Brazilian wavy. Because like I said, Brazilian wavy, I'm, it's... It's a nice texture because it's blendable, but sometimes it can be very frustrating working with because, like I said, at first this hair was just like, because I didn't use the right products, I wasn't taking care of it right, but if you follow her instructions that she gives you and you use the right products like this, you will get the luster that you want, the flow that you want, like everything that you want. A little dry, but not too much. I didn't do anything to the ends or whatever. And a little secret, although I did ombre the hair or whatever, this part up here is not my hair that's dyed. Remember, if you go back to my Kim K, AG Kim K ombre video, I used the sensual strip. So, believe it or not, everything worked out. This is actually beauty supply store hair. I have the link to how I did it, because I have a video on how I did this already, so I'm not going to do it again. But I have this. This is from the beauty supply store, and it's sensual. Um, regular yakky human hair and they sell two-tone I don't know if any other beauty supply store brand sells it two-tone I think Milky Way is another one but it's not many um beauty supply store companies that sell two-tone hair anymore it's kind of old school but it works so this will blend with my natural hair and then this will just blend right in with the ombre so if you dye your hair so uh a deep 20 developer, um, a light 30, it will equal to this. So this worked out really good. I already had this in my house since the last tutorial, so I was like, yes. So I had that on top, actually, the pieces I bonded in. That's what I have on top, so I'll never have to cut the version hair up. And it's just like crazy how it just ended up matching. And it just flowed so well. that she sent me was this one, actually. I haven't used it yet, but see my leave out, I'm okay with it because I haven't had any damage true damage like severe damage or any problem with my hair and my leave out you know I feel like closure are for people who trying to grow their hair back or they have just difficult time blending but I mean when I look at my leave out and then I look at the closure I don't know how to use this so it's like closure leave out closure leave out but I really want to use this because I heard her closures are very nice you just have to bleach them and tweak them a little bit but this is how her closure looks very nice hair I haven't even washed it yet and um the parting looks like this, so it's just when I look at it, it's like so intimidating because I have no idea like how to be <laughs> mad at all. Like I said, I know people are like, Adri, what's wrong with you? You keep switching your hair every day. Look, when you get in the habit of making you part wigs, you will go you part crazy. You will change your hair every single day. So I do apologize, but I had to do a photo shoot one day. I had to do something the next day. I had, it was raining the other day. I had a bang. 
like I just change it with the weather, honestly. And I used to do this in high school. Like people who know me personally, y'all know I'm crazy. I've been changing my hair every day since I was in like ninth grade. Like this is a true story. Y'all might think I'm lying, but I promise you, I would change my hair every single day. People know me for that. So I'm back to my old ways, changing my hair every day. Now that I got the U parts now, and you know my leave out's good. You know the weather is kind of hot, but I mean if it gets too hot, I can do the bob again, stuff like that. So um, it's very very nice. I really love this hair. So, so people wasn't lying when they said Princess Hair Shot was on point. They really are on point. I'm not lying to you. I promise. Like I say, I had the best. Like the I had the worst love with Brazilian wavy hair. Like you have no idea. Even when I purchased, like I purchased some from AliExpress, it wasn't even all that. Like honestly, but um, this got me right back. So. I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Princess Hair. Um, thumbs up for me so far. It it's just I just love it. And I like the most part I like about it is that I don't have to do nothing to it. Like I just do this and go. I just flip my bangs and then bam. Flip my bangs and bam. So I just wet the bottom and then just curl the top. Like that's it. And it has body in it. Y'all know I like body in my hair. The color's good and match. So when I say I just completely created this like out of the blue I was like uh, -uh. let me do this you part over and just create something else so this is what it looks like if you follow me on Facebook came my prices are very affordable compared to my last review so I'm gonna try to stick with companies who are affordable for you guys and um yeah I'll holla at y'all later I like it so see y'all later